All right, uh, hello all. Uh, back at you again with more Arch Linux for you. Um, and a project I've been working on uh, again for the past few days is a uh, open box plus XFCE4 desktop. And I threw the uh, everything up on GitHub. And uh, if you wish, you can try it out in a virtual machine or on your system. And I included basic instructions. Uh, install uh, Git via Pac-Man if you don't, don't have it, and then a, a terminal or console depends on what which way you uh, may want to go about. This is a Git clone, and then the address here, and then simply make it executable, and then run the installer and answer uh, follow the prompts: yes or no. Obviously, if you say answer no, you won't install it. Then reboot, and uh, Light DM is the display manager to log in, and you can remove the uh, uh, git files if you wish okay so I already have it uh, in a virtual box and I'll just fire this up and give you a basic look at it so you have your light TM display manager as I mentioned log in and this is what you should be presented with for the most part with uh, maybe the, the icons might not catch on uh, so you go to customize look and feel an icon theme and just switch it between and then log out and log back in and it should look like this so there's no start menu but the right click I've included the XFCE4 menu via the right click and then uh, took out some things that you probably don't uh, really need and uh, I've included Zane so you can uh, add items in if you want like settings if you want whatever uh, that comes up or you don't want to see you just add or remove those uh, There's another thing too is uh, chromium I installed And first run if you wish There is uh, before deleting the uh, OBX oops um, Folder there is a DeLorean dark theme. That's what the theme is for this so let's say if you go to your uh, home folder and just extract the CRX, .crx file. And we'll open uh, Chromium and go back to your folder. You can drag it onto the uh, browser. Uh, discard or continue. So if you want to continue installing the theme, you can. And then... Uh, and go to your settings and use system title and borders okay so there we go and out of the box uh, I think we select open terminal here it'll ask you the first time uh, no application just select XFCE4 terminal and then uh, that should work all right so that's what it looks like uh, the wallpaper is set to change it's just Arch Linux wallpapers from Arch Linux uh, from Pac-Man and it's set to change every 10 minutes. You go to settings, desktop, you can see here. In minutes, you can uh, unselect or change your wallpaper, whatever you wish from that. All right, so OB logout is the uh, log, the power management. And we'll just uh, shut this down. And I'm going to roll back uh, to a, a basic Arch installation. And this time, I'm going to add an, uh, a different user and a different password. So I'll log in to this basic arch, and I'm going to log in as root first. Maybe I already said that. I don't know. And uh, wait for this to make up its mind. It's going to start. There we go. Root. And user add uh, dash M dash G small g users dash capital G wheel is good enough. And uh, dash S slash bin bash you don't have to do this by the way I'm just showing you that you can add a different user say test and password for uh, test okay so control D to get out of the root and uh oh give that a second there we go I'll log in as test and uh, Clear the screen ls la. Just your basic uh, skeleton uh, 
Arch Linux. So, as I mentioned, uh, you just type in, uh, make sure you have Git installed, and then Git clone https a colon slash slash git hub dot com to uh, slash my username and then obx underscore two zero one six it's about uh, close to 17 megabytes to download so just give that a second to uh, download and uh, let's do a list out and you see obx underscore 2016 uh, folder so just ch mod plus x obx I'm pressing tab on this because there's nothing else in the folders and I have bash completion installed so ch mod uh, plus x and then the folder and then ins short form for install and whatever you can type it retype that in or just delete it up to obx and just tip, press enter this should synchronize the mirrors uh, with Pac-Man and the uh, Multilib as well as uh, the Arch Linux FR. Uh, make sure you have that enabled. Um, I imagine if, you, if you're watching this, you already know how to install Arch Linux and have uh, Yaoart or whatever you have, want uh, for uh, Arch Linux user repository helper. Now the files are included uh, through uh, the GitHub, so you don't have to download anything from the AUR. It's already uh, set for you. So as you can see, uh, there's quite a few packages. Not exactly a light uh, system, but again, it's just to show the flexibility of Arch Linux. And through a few simple scripts, it's not really that hard. I'm I'm not a um, programmer or a script programmer or anything, uh, but. It, you know it's fairly simple to do so I'll let this uh, download and uh, install and I'll be back in a minute all right so everything's uh, uh, compiled ready for you to go so all you have to do is, is type in reboot press tab if you want and press enter and let the uh, system or the virtual machine uh, restart and you should be presented with the light DM uh, login manager uh, with uh, your username and in this case is test it should be test so and then uh, password there we go and there's the icon bug I'm not sure what's going on with that so just uh, settings customize icon team select whatever you want actually apply close and then uh, you can there's several places to log out from the panel here at the bottom right click log out here through system so whatever you want just log out and log back in as your user and there we go we have the icon seem set up uh, as intended I'm not sure what's going on with that I'm sorry uh, it could be a bug or it could be something I did wrong so I included uh, let's go to our file manager and we'll uh, unhide everything here uh, this is uh, in the auto start instead of LX poll kit I included the uh, command to run gnome uh, policy kit agent and it seems to work fine so if you install something like uh, through the AUR like uh, say PAMAC uh, I think it's PAMAC AUR dash AUR Give that a second to respond. Yeah, it's the first one. So I'll install this and I'll show you what I mean by the poll kit. You probably know this anyway. Oops. And just continue building. Okay. So PAMAC is an automated uh, updater for you. So it should show up in uh, system software update and add remove. So let's go to software update and preferences select a user if there's more than one user and you go to uh, type in your uh, password and whatever you want remove unrequired dependencies uh, include AUR updates close and uh, refresh just in case there's a user repository update so now preferences I mean sorry then click apply and uh, I just went by what I 
wanted to, uh, my point was the authentication was uh, GNOME Polkit. And the reason I did that is uh, Alex, like I said, the uh, Alex session um, had some weird characters when you typed it in. It wasn't the uh, stars or whatever. Uh, it was They were strange. So there we go. That's um, OBX, open box plus XFCE4 desktop. Um, if you want to give it a try, uh, just uh, get it through GitHub and whatever you want. You can add a new user to your main uh, system or, as I said, through a virtual machine. Okay? And I may turn this into an ISO. Um, it's a lot of work uh, to get that through, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So if you try this, please let me know. And anything uh, you'd like to see, uh, also let me know. So that should do it for this one. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.